Hi, I'm David, and in today's episode, we're going to look at how to create a book using Book Creator for Chrome. Right, let's get to it. After you've installed it on uh, Chrome, uh, you have to go through the sign-up procedure, and once you've done all that, uh, just click on New Book at the top here, and uh, we'll get started. So, first off, you can choose the book shape. You've got portrait, square, landscape. So, I've went for the square option, which may take a few seconds to load, just depending on your internet connection. Okay, right off, you just start with a blank space. Uh, what we'll look at now is how to put in some images to get us started, uh, followed by text and then some other settings. Right, let's have a, a look at this little plus button in the top right hand corner. Uh, when you click on that, you get some media options, which is import, camera, pen, text, and record. Uh, let's play around with the import button to start off with. And when you do click it, you get this dialog box. Um, I'm just gonna go and do a Google search for SCIS, just to show you how that would work. So do a quick search, and it'll come up with some results there. And then, you know, depending on which one you want, you just click and select it, and it will put it in. Uh, when I tested this, however, my internet was a little bit slow, so I didn't get that uh, picture to load as I thought I would. Um, so I'm going to show you another option as well. So I'm just going to open up a new tab here and I'm going to search for SCIS again. That's the school. And go to images and then same thing again, just find an image I want. And then instead of doing the direct insert in Book Creator, you can literally just left click and drag it across, um, which I did. And actually when I did this, I didn't let it uh, load properly. So I imported like a smaller image, which means when I resized it, it uh, became quite pixelated. So you just see it's loading here, and once you're done, boom. And that's how you get your images in. At least two of the ways. Next up, I'm going to put in some text. So back up to the plus button, and this time we're going to go for uh, text, which is the fourth one down. Uh, of course, then put your title text or whatever text you want. So I'm just going to go for SEIS Student Handbook uh, for this uh, practice, okay? So of course, just click and drag to uh, reposition it wherever you want it. Also, you'll get your preview lines when it's directly in the middle, which will appear there um, as you would see in most programs. So I'm going to play around with the format now. Um, of course, you've got your size, bold, italic, underline, color, as you would expect to see um, in all these kind of programs and centering and whatnot. When I want to change the font style, uh, make sure it's selected, your text box is selected, click on font and then have a look at the different fonts that are available. There's a few, not too many, but just remember to choose something that is appropriate for your target audience. And for me, this is a grade six uh, student handbook. So I think that font should be appropriate for that. And then you can change your other settings, like color, and you can go into custom and choose the different gradients. Um, so you can do a little bit of customization, which is nice, and you can play around with that. All right, let's change the background. So up to the I button, information, and then you can change the color, given one of the many options down here. Again, you can, just like the text, you can select your own color uh, using the custom feature and just hitting apply to test it out. There are a few other options as well, and if you scroll down and look under categories, uh, you'll see those, just clicking a recent one I'd used there. So let's go for comics first of all, and they've got some preset ones for you to use. Just be aware that they can be a little bit over the top, and you will need to adjust your font color to make sure that the text is easy enough to read. And that's everything for now. Thanks for watching this episode on getting to grips with Book Creator. See you next time.